local reporting you can trust. You're watching KRQE News 13 at 4. Good afternoon. A former second grade APS teacher, Danny Aldaz, is accused of sexually assaulting several children over years. Today's proceedings mark the first accuser's case to move forward to trial. News 13's Chandler Farnsworth has more on how the prosecution and the defense are framing this case to the jury. In the case against a former APS teacher, prosecutors... Ladies and gentlemen, we will provide you with more, more than enough evidence to convict the defendant of these despicable crimes. And the defense... You're going to hear her testify about things that happened that other accounts are going to tell you didn't happen. Just didn't. Each side giving opening statements in a Bernalillo County courtroom today, arguing if Danny Aldez should be convicted. Aldez is facing five counts accused of sexually abusing a seven-year-old student at Valle Vista Elementary. Prosecuting for the state, District Attorney Sam Bregman told the jury that Aldez had a closet in his classroom where prosecutors say Aldez abused the victim. It was in that closet where the defendant committed the crime of criminal sexual penetration of a child under 13. Aldez's defense suggests that the state won't be able to convince the jury that Aldez is guilty, arguing there's not enough physical evidence or DNA evidence. They also say the victim's accusations are inconsistent. You won't have any DNA evidence, no photographic evidence of anything that corroborates abuse. Chandler Farnsworth, KRQE News 13. That trial expected to last through the week. Aldez was initially facing a 32-count indictment accused of crimes against multiple children. A judge has since split up those cases into different trials.